What's up guys, today is the day, the first day of WWDC 2020, and you're probably all super stoked for iOS 14. If you are, hit that like button down below. Um, but in today's video, we'll show you all how you can download and install the first iOS 14 developer beta onto your personal devices so you can take part of the beta process for the next few months. Now, before we get started, make sure to check out channel memberships down below for iOS 14 exclusive content, beta profiles, and there's a lot more coming in the coming weeks. A link to that will be in the video description down below. Now, very quickly, this iOS update video is sponsored by ExpressVPN. Uh, protect your internet browsing experience across all of your devices using the ExpressVPN app, which will ensure that you are browsing the internet privately and won't be tracked or have your information stolen. What's even better is, unlike using other VPN services out there, you won't experience slower speeds due to slow servers. The ExpressVPN servers give you the best speeds possible for internet browsing and 4K streaming wherever you may be. So if you are interested in ExpressVPN, check out the link down below. That link will give you three months free of ExpressVPN services and every 50th user that signs up through our link will receive a $300 Apple gift card and that applies to all tiers of subscriptions. Oh, and uh, one more thing, there's a 30 day money back guarantee. So if you don't like ExpressVPN for whatever reason or don't find it useful, you can get 100% of your money back and that won't affect your entry for every 50th user on that giveaway. So that sounds like a uh, pretty awful deal, right? Uh, check it out in the link down below. Now, before we get to installing, downloading, and all that cool stuff, I do want to make sure to let you know that there are some short steps you might wanna take before updating to iOS 14. These steps are all to protect your personal devices and the data on it, so maybe just take a quick listen to hear some ways you can make this process of updating as safe as possible. Number one is always back up your device before going to a beta build like the one we'll be installing today. It's better to be safe than sorry, so definitely back up your device via the computer using Finder on Mac, or you can use third-party apps like Amazing as well. There's also the iCloud backup feature in the settings app that works pretty well, so definitely check that out if you don't have access to a computer. Now, the reason you want to back up your device is just in case you run into any issues and need to back up and restore all of that information and the settings that you currently have set up on your personal device. Now, moving on to number two, and that is to delete any previous beta profiles that you might have on your device, whether that be public or developer beta profiles. You need to remove these as these will not be valid for iOS 14 and will only get in the way of you getting iOS 14 onto your device. So to do this, head over to the settings app, go into the general menu, and from there, go down to the menu labeled profile. Here you can see the installed profiles you have, and if you tap on the one of them, uh, you can see that the option there is to remove it. After this is done, I always suggest that you go ahead and restart your device after doing this just to ensure that everything is cleared away. The last and final thing is to make sure that you have a good amount of battery on your device. What would be even better is to have your device plugged in during the installation process to ensure that you don't run out of power during the update to iOS 14. Just keep in mind that if your system shuts down during an update, you run a very high chance of completely bricking your device and not being able to recover any data from it. So with that said, these updates can take quite a bit of time, so make sure that you have a good amount of battery or are plugged in before starting the installation process. Okay, so with those suggestions out of the way, let's talk about how you can update your personal device. There are actually two possible ways. The first is through an IPSW file where you will need a computer or you can use a beta profile that installs the update over the air without a computer. Apple has done it both ways in the past, but they really threw a curveball at us last year when we needed to install the update via developer tools that were not available to the general public. So I'll update you in the, in the comment section uh, as to which method you'll be using for the first iOS 14 beta, but I'll also give you more info on both methods. So either way, you are fully prepared. Now, first up is the IPSW file method. If you need to use an IPSW file for install, check the links down below for access to all of those install files and also make sure that you select the correct device as the install will only work so long as the IPSW file matches your specific device. Now, if you're running macOS Catalina, you can use the updater tool in the Finder application to manually update 
your device to iOS 14. If Apple does in fact use this method and you don't have access to a PC or a Mac, unfortunately, there's no possible way you can update it until a beta profile is released to allow you that update over the air. It's just not possible. Now, the second and easiest method is via a developer beta profile. Now, I'll have a link down below for all of our regular viewers and a separate one for the channel members in the developer category because the public links tend to be taken down because Apple doesn't want these profiles distributed in mass quantities. So uh, for channel members only, the profile will be updated quite regularly throughout the beta process. So you guys can always have access to those and a link to that will be located in the developer category of the members only community tab, just in case you are a member and want to check that out. Now, when you get that profile downloaded, all you have to do is open it up on your device, install it, restart your device, and then the update will become available via the software update page. From there, you will have access to iOS 14, and you can, of course, switch to the public beta profiles when those are released. Uh, that will likely be around the time that the third developer beta is released for iOS 14. Okay, so those were the two possible ways you can install iOS 14 onto your iDevices. And just in case these methods did not work or you have any questions whatsoever, please leave those in the comment section down below. And I'll do my best to get back to each and every one of you as soon as possible. If the installation process did in fact work for you, I hope that you enjoy iOS 14 and please consider hitting that like button and getting subscribed. It helps out the channel and you'll be able to stay up to date with all of the update videos we'll have for you on iOS 14 that will be coming in the next couple of months. Also in that link down below, I'll include beta profiles for tvOS, macOS, and any other software that was released today. So uh, you are free to use those as well. Anyways, guys, that's it for today's video. And I just wanted to remind you one last time, if you were hopping on the developer beta builds, definitely consider becoming a channel member, specifically a developer category member, because there are so many perks for the update uh, of iOS 14 betas and kind of improving that experience as best as possible. Also, if you guys do get the beta installed, let me know if, uh, you know, in, in the comment section, if you guys are having a good time with it and how things are going for you. I'd love to see some feedback on the update uh, process and uh, how you guys are enjoying iOS 14 so far. Now, before you guys head out, definitely check out the sponsor of today's video, ExpressVPN. Their app is honestly the best way to protect yourself on the internet and to uh, ensure that your internet browsing experience is truly private. The link for all of that is down in the video description down below with an exclusive tech review discount. And also don't forget about that super awesome giveaway. Uh, so yeah, with that said, thank you again for watching and make sure to stay tuned for upcoming iOS 14 content. But until then, I hope you all have an awesome day and are enjoying iOS 14.